Okay, this is our completion of the chaos iron collar. Uh, really, the only thing we have left is the um, dimensions, and it's going to have about probably about well four on top and about probably three on the bottom. Uh, so uh, we're going to switch over to your dimension layer, and as we remember uh, in AutoCAD, not a lot, not not like inventor where one tool does everything in this particular one you have several tools that do the dimensions all right so that's all of our dimensions so we have the one two to three and the four for the inch for the representation all right so next uh you're gonna do your Linear dimensions on the side, and we can use a baseline. So you're gonna come out about a half an inch. Now, this is an easy way to make sure you space your dimensions correctly. If you take, put your um, layer on depth points, and then offset. Make a line and then put it on offset. It'll give you, you can offset your own increments. And then if you actually forget to erase these, they won't show up on the finished print. So that's another way of doing it. All right. So we're going to do linear. We're going to come out to here. And since we're doing base baseline, All right, and that gives us all of our dimensions that we need. So we have our center line, we have our head line to represent the hole that goes down the middle. We have our three levels of the cast iron collar, and uh, we don't need a we don't need a dimension here because that was already satisfied with the four, the three, the two, and then of course the hole in the middle of the one. So you don't need uh, a whole lot more any more dimensions for this particular one. So we'll erase those lines right there. We have our correct spacing. Our next step is, is to do the title block information. And this is the cast iron collar, all capital letters. All right, I'm gonna do the date. Today is November 3rd. Sure. All right, and of course, drawn by with you, scale one to one, and which period you're in. So you should be using this size sheet, which is uh, 18 by 24. Uh, it's actually only big enough for this to fit on uh, small 11 by 17, unless you're using like the uh, the uh, portrait version of it. It doesn't work too well. You have to be careful with that too. For this part. All right, that was good. So, put your, place your um your picture up in the upper corner. That will be your pit visual representation. Then you have your AutoCAD drawing of what it actually looks like. Then, um, just as we've done before, you're gonna uh, export this as a PDF. And here, uh, you'll do a window just like we've done before. And for you're going to do a page setup override, and then you're going to change your paper size. And it's not going to be an A size, it's actually going to be a C size. So scroll and look for our ARC C 28, uh, 24 by 18. Hit OK and change the name to default. So this will be cast iron collar. Right, and then we hit save. And this will be the one that you're submitting on Google Classroom. I remember that when it blinks, that means that it's exported. 
So make sure that you're actually saving them to where you can find them, such as in your uh, OneDrive or your Google Drive or so forth. If you put them in a Google Drive, that's fine because you can actually, uh, once you go to the Google Classroom, you can actually link it pretty easily uh, without having to search for it too hard. So um, make sure that you save your files there or inside the OneDrive. 